T-minus 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. Engine full power and lift off. Go SpaceX. Go Falcon. Go RRT one. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Stage one propulsion is nominal. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. During ascent, we tilt or gimbal the engines, and that turns the rocket horizontally in a maneuver known as a gravity turn. We're still going up, but now we're also heading horizontally away from the launch pad. Moments ago, we throttled Power and telemetry nominal. Good call out there. Moments ago, we throttled the engines down on the first stage in preparation for max Q or maximum aerodynamic pressure. Falcon is supersonic. Falcon 9 is now supersonic. Max Q is a critical moment during flight because the combined stress is caused by Falcon 9 accelerating through the atmosphere and the ambient static pressure are at their greatest. Max Q. And we are now at Max Q, and the rocket typically needs to go about 17,500 miles per hour horizontally in order to avoid being pulled back down to Earth and get into orbit. You can track our progress to orbit by keeping an eye on the stage one telemetry in the bo in the bottom corner of your screen. And back chill started. Now we have several events coming up in quick succession. Main engine cutoff or MECO, stage separation, second engine start one or SES one, and fairing separation. Main engine cutoff or MECO is where all nine Merlin 1D engines shut down to slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage separation, which is where the first stage separates from the second stage. Followed by this, the MVAC engine on the, second, on the second stage will light, which is called out as second engine start one or SES one. This engine burn lasting several minutes will propel the second stage and the payload to orbit. And in addition to these three major events, the fairing halves will separate shortly after SES-1, so keep an eye out for all of those events coming up in just a few seconds. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. And there you heard and maybe just even saw those events that happened back to back, which again were MECO, Stage SEP, and SES-1. And just as a reminder, we will not have any Stage 2 views today following stage separation, and the remainder of our webcast will follow Fal the Falcon booster returning to Earth. Next up will be fairing separation, about 10 seconds. Fairing separation confirmed. Good call out there for confirmation of fairing separation. And as I mentioned earlier, we will be attempting to retrieve these fairing halves again today using our recovery vessel Doug once they fall back to Earth. It's about T plus four minutes and three seconds into today's mission. At the T plus six minute and 12 second mark, we expect to have some great views of the first stage entry burn. And for the entry burn, we relight three of the M1D engines on the first stage, starting with the center E9 engine, followed shortly after by the E1 and E5 engines. This helps slow down the vehicle as it passes back into Earth's denser lower atmosphere. 
We need to slow it down to reduce re-entry forces, which ultimately helps us recover and reuse the first stage. During the entry burn, Falcon 9 is decelerating by firing its Merlin engines, but we're still moving really fast. And this causes the vehicle to fly through Merlin's exhaust gases, or its plume, and this deposits a layer of soot on the vehicle surface, which is why our vehicles look the way they do. That soot comes from the carbon-based fuel that Falcon 9 uses. On second thought, we might not have great views of entry burn, but hopefully we do. Reusability is key to lowering the cost of spaceflight, which enables more investment in critical scientific research. The Falcon 9 first stage that is supporting today's mission is flying for its fourth time. And while this booster is on its fourth trip to and from space, we're working towards qualifying our fleet of Falcon boosters and fairings to support 40 missions each. Stage one entry burn startup. Stage one FTS has saved. And there you can see the entry bird. I'm glad we had a great view. <laughs> Stage one entry burn shut down. Good call out there for the end of entry burn. As, and as you can see on your screen, the telemetry on the bottom left-hand corner indicates that the first stage is slowing down. Next up, in about a minute, we will have the landing burn. The Merlin engines on the Falcon first stage are optimized for sea level, and these achieve about 190,000 pounds of thrust during ascent and entry. And while it won't be visible on this webcast, the single MVAC engine on the second stage has a much wider nozzle and is optimized to operate in space, producing 220,500 pounds of thrust in vacuum. Stage two. Stage two is internal guidance. Good callouts there for stage two. So coming up in under 30 seconds, we will have the landing burn of the first stage. And the landing burn is the final burn of the Falcon 9 booster that is used to reduce the remaining speed of the vehicle in order to allow for a soft... Stage 2 FTS is saved. In order to allow for a soft stage touchdown on the drone ship. Yeah, back shut down. Stage one, landing leg deploy. Great view of our drone ship, a short Terminal park open insertion. And there you saw and Stage heard the- Stage one, landing confirmed. And saw the successful landing of our Falcon 9 rocket.